All right, Trial Mob, so today we have a first, a Pia Club exclusive. Now, this isn't the first Pia Club exclusive I've bought, but it's the first one I've had an opportunity to show you guys specifically in a review. As you know, this was supposed to have been a comic, or should I say an event exclusive, but due to the world we live in, there was a few changes in what was supposed to happen, and this ended up being a Pia Club exclusive. Now, I know that Toynami did have a few, but they've had basically a limited run. Uh, basically pia club is the place to get it if it's still in stock i remember last time i checked it was not so is this worth the hassle to get we're gonna find out All right, Trial Mob, so the Shadow of Asamite, is this worth the headache to buy? So let's go ahead and put this new figure through the trials and see if this is something that's going to join the Pantheon of Champions. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and break it down. Now the first trial for this warrior is going to be box art and presentation. So as you guys know, Acid Rain does do things usually a little different than this. This is the first time that we've gotten specifically, basically a bubble wrap with a, um, uh, with a basically card box in the back, what they usually refer to as boosters, right? So this is definitely something that's a bit different. It is not bad looking by any means, and I apologize for the glare. I will get rid of that in a second. I just wanted to make sure you guys got a good view of what it looked like with the plastic behind it. But as you can tell, it's a bubble wrap style with the Shadow of Asamite on the inside and then this card box on the outside. And now when we move to the back, this looks a bit more clear. And as you guys can tell, it is the same goodness that we've always gotten from Acid Rain. Basically a nice view of the photo of the Shadow of Asamite itself. And now this one is a little bit different. You guys are gonna have to tell me what you guys think so here on the back we do have a the, the actual intro for the figure itself the bio um, and it's nice that it actually has that because they never have that you have to go on to basically Facebook or Instagram to actually read the bio of a figure but this one actually comes with it so that is obviously very nice now when you do get this figure you are gonna end up getting it um, basically in like a saram wrap I have already jumped the gun and bust this baby open so you know, I took that part off. Um, definitely not. <laughs> I know it's for protection and probably to make it seem like it's brand, brand new, um, which is kind of nice. You can um, basically fold these back into place on either side, as you can tell, and on the bottom as well with a uh, sticker, or I shouldn't say sticker, but a piece of tape at the top holding it together. Um, well, let's go ahead and break it apart real quick, and then I'll tell you guys what I really think. All right, so here we have the actual card back by itself. Obviously, a lot less glare. I apologize for that. Now, here's the reality. Box art itself, beautiful. That looks really badass, especially the fact that it's showing the gun firing um, in the background. Um, and then, obviously, just it's an all-black figure, so it's not too hard to really capture those colors in there. But I like the fact that there's a gold trim around it. I'll admit that that is pretty badass. And you get everything you need on it. Pia Club at the top, age of 16+, plus, which I never realized there was an age limit on this. Um, the War Under Pollution, which, again, I feel like I don't normally see that on the box art. So that's something to, that's nice to see. Let me go ahead and bring it a little bit closer for you guys to see. There it says, the War Under Pollution, the last line of defense, all in gold. Shadow of Asamite, and then it says six random weapon combinations fav uh, co1 all the normal stuff scronics.com ta on the on the front and then when we switch to the back as i mentioned earlier all the different stuff that we've seen before including all six combinations that you can get the one that i ended up getting is c so the shotgun and the two pistols but we'll get into more of that in a second so here is my thoughts about this on whether or not i'm gonna let it pass this first trial so first of all i wish i would have gotten d or e because i've never owned either one of those two guns and that would have been really badass so if anyone's trying to trade let me you know but here's the real thing about this that i want to bring to your attention so i'm going to go ahead and bring in valdo into this just so you guys can see what his package looks like let me go ahead and actually bust so if i were to take that card back that we're seeing right now of the shadow of asamite and fold it up chances are that i could more or less make this same box right here so there's a couple of things that I'm going to have to get into and I can't touch base on it until we get to those trials. But let me go ahead and just say this. This was only a $25 figure. Considering that my Baldo was double that, more than double that price and a lot of the other figures that I've gotten, including the Kelsey that this is based off of, is about double or, or more than that. This is a really good price. And I understand that in terms of, you know, taking away the container, that costs money. Whether we like it or not, that costs money. But I do think that what they could have done is just given us the same kind of 
um, fold up as you see here and then with the same amount of plastic that we got of the figure itself to just have it on the inside of it i think that that would have been a better more traditional way of presenting this i understand it's it's an exclusive but so is valdo and valdo still got a lot of the regular stuff that we know and like however this is something new it doesn't look bad i do like all the gold trim it does look very nice and translucent and again it is nice to kind of see what another version of this could look like again i apologize for so much glare um, but again i think that for this one i'm gonna go ahead and considering everything i'm gonna go ahead and give it a pass on this trial for a just how good it looks overall and to the fact that it is a um, something new something we haven't seen before and a new faction so this could be the way they introduce more of these in the future so again i am going to give it a pass for this trial all right, you guys, so here she is, the Shadow of Asamite herself. Now, I do want to make certain something. It's called the Shadow of Asamite, but that is the name of the actual organization. So this is actually just an agent of them. Now, I will refer to her as the Shadow of Asamite, maybe Shadow for short. I do want to make sure you understand this is one of many of the Shadow of Asamite. So for the next trial, it'll be overall um basically design and paint applications and all that. So let me go ahead and give you a full trick. 360 and see if this is going to be a pass all right so for starters we are going to have what i what i personally believe is a fairly beautiful head now we have seen this head sculpt before this is literally a kelsey clone down to basically everything about her and we're going to go ahead and get into that in a second but i do like this more kind of goth look you know the black hair the black lipstick the eyes look really nice the overall paint application does look pretty decent all the way throughout the ears don't look bad at all i think that there was a little bit of missing paint right there but not a big deal if we come around to the back we are going to see that she does have a um a bun on the back as you know kelsey also comes with a ponytail so this one is a little bit different so it's not the exact same clone which is nice i did mention to you guys that most likely we we're going to end up seeing that female head used with other um you know ponytails and such things like that to make different figures and here we are so i 100 called it and then as you can tell the shadow of asamite is mostly just a black figure all throughout more of a black almost charcoal gray i do love the overall body dimensions uh something that i've been noticing a lot lately from just a lot of media is that they don't want to make girls look like girls so it's awesome to see that she just looks like a badass female character and again this is the kelsey buck so i never removed the kelsey armor before so this is what she would look like um basically under there and as you can tell she has those large shoulder joints that allow her to get really good articulation this right here is a sleeve as you can tell the arm goes in under through there same thing on the other side so i've always said that they don't really do the t joint they do more of a y pose that's not true they can get up actually really high if i wanted to finesse it more i could go higher but i don't really want to play around with that too much because i don't want to break um anything these are a bit of a smaller figure right so for the most part this does look pretty badass as you move down into the arms these are the same armored kelsey arms i think every single female that they make needs to come with these arms uh there's just no reason not to um, they look badass they already have them all the females should be armored up like this anyway which is obviously very nice and then we do see again a little bit of the same kind of gray but this is more of a charcoal than the black that's on her chest as we move down into the pouches again they're black everything about her is black basically all the way down with just a few minor changes in tone to go ahead and kind of break it up now i don't know if my camera is picking it up enough as far as i can tell but there is just like anything else as you can tell just black all the way through let me go ahead and show you the back before i keep going almost like a little bit of a sparkle through it like a speck through it and i do appreciate that especially that it's still kind of dirty around the arms and even not so much on the face but around the arms at least but what i appreciate about that is the fact that even though she does look basically mostly black and charcoal gray that she was given that wash still that we know that everything comes with that is acid rain so because of that she doesn't look very flat she definitely looks like she has some depth to her overall design and it is really cool it's also very modular because it's black and again um we've never seen necessarily this specific kind of paramilitary unit right what we would call something that's more um 
the right the shadow of asamite these guys are something like akin to the black widow organization from marvel we could say and again she is absolutely badass and stunning this buck is always going to be one of my favorite bucks from acid rain so for me when it comes to the overall body i do want to say that this is a pass on this trial the only thing i wish is that maybe they could have chosen i don't know any kind of uh, like like a gloss black in certain areas that would have allowed her to kind of pop more but again this is supposed to be acid rain anything that might be glossy might end up just turning into rust right so maybe that wouldn't go good with the motif but overall again i think in terms of looks this is going to be a pass all right now for the next trial it's going to be accessories so this is the one that's going to be a little bit hard so you know i'm gonna give her before i give her any rating let me just say i would probably have given her a pass just on the fact that she came with my favorite pistol we've seen this one on kelsey before it's literally the physically largest pistol we've ever gotten on a figure it's charcoal gray just like the rest of them are um nothing special about it in terms of the you know being specifically for the shadow of asmite which i have no problem with but it is a beautiful looking piece overall definitely my favorite pistol and now i can dual wield this with kelsey or with the shadow of asmite but the shadow of asmite herself does come with another pistol which is this one right here i don't know if i've seen this one before i know we're going to see it in the upcoming uh, sharpshooter from the naus um it does look nice almost looks like a mini pump um but it does look really cool fits in the hand really nice um second favorite to that one right there and then i've never seen this shotgun before but damn don't you get terminator vibes from her like legit terminator vibes and what's cool is that the actual um what would you call that the grip right can fold inward so she can hold it like a normal gun or it can fold outward so she can hold it with the grip and that is absolutely badass this shotgun has quickly become one of my favorite um weapons that we've gotten from acid rain now here's the one issue and we'll get to that in a second when i go into more because remember i did give her a pass a second ago on the design of the figure overall because i love this buck but she is a little decontented now with that said she does come technically with one more gun than kelsey does but kelsey comes with a knife and other options that this one does not come with i'm going to give it a pass because we do get a one at least one gun that we've never gotten before which is this shotgun and two depending on which one you get from the six different options that it comes with you might get something you've never gotten before and that's absolutely badass and for that level of modularity uh, again i think it would be a pass for you as well but again just from what she comes with right here i think she does come well equipped but again she does come a little decontented and we'll get that when i go into the comparison with her and kelsey now for the next one, it's going to be articulation. So let me just go ahead and zoom in a little bit right here. And let me just go ahead and get into it. So you guys have seen this buck before, you know, it's absolutely incredible. So she does look up like absolutely far up. And then she does look down fairly far down, I would say. That's about as far as it goes. And that's her more or less looking forward. On the back, the bun does move around, which is nice. And then of course you can do a full 360 on the head. Oops, the bun came out. Let me put that back in before I lose it. Trust me, it's easy to lose, especially because it's black. Um, the shoulders do have a nice butterfly joint. She can go pretty far back, pretty damn far forward. And then again, if I just kind of tuck that joint in and you can actually pull it out more she will go as far as you want her to there's absolutely no problem there i'm just not going to do it because i'm not about to break this this is an exclusive and while i do have a second one on the way um as far as i can tell they are sold out now up here in the bicep we do get a little bit of a swivel actually i don't even think it's there it's right here this joint right here gives you the swivel a little bit left and right doesn't do a full 360 because of the way that this is shaped as you can tell and then for the bend you'd get way past 90 degrees which is awesome Cow cowboy grip in the right hand but push-up grip in the left as you can tell right there i'm not gonna force it again but yeah you see what i mean and then it's identical in terms of articulation here chest does go back that far enough to give her a gap and then you can bend forward just enough to make her look basically down and then of course it goes to the side you can do a full 360 and then even nicer you do get articulation right here at the waist so she can basically go that far forward and that far back now in terms of the splits if you can 
kind of get her joints out of the way, she can go far farther than I think you'll need anyway. The, I mean, in most cases, she's not going to be doing the splits. She's not Johnny Cage. But I mean, if you wanted to, she does go pretty far. And then right here, we are going to get that uh, cut right there, which allows us to do the full 360. Double jointed knees. Now, these aren't my favorite looking knees, but they get the job done. And she can basically sandwich her legs. Again, it's got a weird shape to it, but hey, it is good in terms of an articulation. And then when we go ahead and get down here, we do get an ankle pivot that allows her to slam, look at that, in the other direction, same thing. And then she can point downwards about that far and then upwards about that far. So just enough. Again, we've seen this Kelsey Buck before. Now, let me go ahead and get into it whether or not this is going to be a pass. So while again, she is a little bit decontented, one of the things that she doesn't come with is Kelsey's vest. Now, because of that, you actually get a bunch of articulation as you saw in the torso and the upper chest. Um, and I would actually be willing to say in the upper arms because you can actually make her do that. <laughs> That's that. Kelsey can't even do that. So while she is a little decontented, right? She doesn't come with the um, vest that Kelsey does. Kelsey can't do this. And she's one of their better articulated figures. So the Shadow of Asimite has that much more articulation, which is, again, absolutely phenomenal. This will allow you to get into some really badass poses in your diorama. But as you know, there is a little bit of an issue with the female buck in that it sometimes can be a little wonky, especially on Jesse, um, as you guys have seen before, I've mentioned it before. And so because you don't get a vest right here, the, when you're playing around with this, this right here likes to kind of bounce up and down a little bit. If you can get it in place and hold it, it actually holds fairly nicely, but it still finds its way to kind of find its way out. So it's gonna be up to you whether or not you can deal with that. I kind of wanna glue it down just so it stays in place, but at the same time, I don't want to because I do wanna do some leg swaps and I'll see you guys, or should I say, I'll show you guys in a sec. But with that said, in terms of articulation, the Shadow of Asimite is a pass. All right, guys, so for me, the Shadow of Asimite is definitely something that I would definitely consider picking up. It's a very cheap price. You're, you get a fair amount of stuff. And the real thing that I want to mention is, so as I mentioned before, this is called the Shadow of Asimite. Now, that's the name of the organization. So this is just one of many agents. Now, I get the idea that they follow a lot of the Black Widow stuff from Marvel, where there are multiple Black Widows and they all look exactly the same, dress exactly the same. And I think the Shadow of Asimite is something that's very similar. I mean, that would explain why you can buy six of these and technically get six different operatives with six different weapons weapon choices because there are supposed to be multiple of these so since i'm getting a second one i do hope it comes with different stuff and ultimately depending on the equipment it will be a separate figure now this uses one of the single best bucks from the acid rain line when done correctly now even though this one has a little bit less armor than let's say the kelsey which i want to say is the best version of this that extra articulation and of course just the overall black um, demeanor of the armor itself right the outfit itself this is really cool this is a really suave looking figure um, it's very smooth looking overall and then on top of that again this is supposed to be a shadow organization i love that we've been getting kind of different colors right the sand guys the marine guys now we have this sh these like shadow paramilitary stuff and i love that i think that that's really bad ass now, before I get into any more trials, or should I say the comparison, she does have to finish one more trial, and that's going to be the trial of value. Is this a valuable figure for its price point, for what it comes with? Is it overpriced? This is going to be one that's going to be difficult to pass for many figures. But before I get into that one, I do have to do at least one comparison, and that's going to be to Kelsey. So here we finally have Kelsey on the right. So as far as I can tell, I could be tripping here and please tell me if I'm wrong here, but as far as I can tell, these are identical figures, just a few differences. So the main differences that you guys are gonna see off the top is going to be the actual color, obviously and the um the ponytail but other than that here's where the real differences come in so the ponytail is the first difference but then the other differences that you're going to see is 
Kelsey right here on the right actually comes with a um, holster for that big pistol. She comes with this vest on. Some of the things that I don't have on her right now because I put them away, she has a little knife that goes onto the vest in the shoulder. And then if we actually come around, she has this knife on the back and an actual sheath for it. Now, if we turn Kelsey around, you'll notice that she is fairly similar. And actually, Kelsey comes with the radio, same radio that you see right there for the Shadow of Asimov but you can remove that to add this sheath right in which who wouldn't do that that looks way more badass so as you can tell um jesse uh, excuse me the shadow of asimite is definitely a bit decanted in that sense now when it comes to weapons they both have the exact same pistol but again we do have the shotgun for the shadow of asimite and then we do have the knife for kelsey and then kelsey also comes with a hat that is removable and a separate helmet so definitely if these were the exact same price i would say the shadow of asimite is definitely not good value you get a very decontented figure with a lot less stuff going for it if they were going to charge the same price i would just say go ahead and give it all to us anyway just in black with a different ponytail but since that's not the case here in this case kelsey costs literally double the price while the shadow of asimite is literally at half the price and just the same thing twice um, I have to say that this does serve as an incredible value. I'm kind of tired of buying Acid Rain figures, even if they are nice at $50, when it, there's obviously a few things that they can do to make it cheaper and make it more accessible and more valuable for your money at $25. Now, the thing about the Shadow of Asmite is that I kind of wish that she at least came with a pistol no matter what shadow asimite you got and i wish that she came with the holster for it because i think that it looks really good as it sits right now the only way for you to have any of her weaponry on her is in her hands there is no sheathing it anywhere else and that kind of sucks because everybody seems to have some kind of pistol holder and she doesn't have that and then on top of that obviously since you don't get the container like valdo and kelsey do right this container right here you know you do get a cheaper price point so there are a few things oh let me go ahead and fix that there are a few things that had to be done here to be able to let me bring this up in order to be able to give us that 25 dollars price point so here's my question before i give her a pass or a fail is that enough for you you know is it enough for you to maybe get plastic instead of the um, containers that we normally get and do you want it to be like this right here where you have the big card box or do you want them to preferably go back to what like Valdo and the rest of them are which is something more you know like this where it's uh, folded up into a cube like that I personally have no problem getting rid of the um, containers as long as we still get that plastic but I would like to obviously see this right here folded up rather than being this card back that we get right here so with the price point in to be taken in basically into consideration, I do have to go ahead and say that the Shadow of Asimite is going to be a pass. And because it's such a cheap price and, you know, we are able to get multiple of them and technically not get the same figure, I would definitely suggest if you can buy at least two, get your hands on two. Because if you do end up getting two different weapons, honestly, I would say that those are two different operatives and they're not the same one. And that is something that's very cool because you can go ahead and buy all six, get six different ones, and that provides its own value. No matter how many times I buy Kelsey, it's still Kelsey. Even though technically I could buy two more and put like helmets on them and say that they're not Kelsey. True, I could. But I still think it's cool because again, we don't have too much lore on the Shadow of Asimite and what is to come in the future now for other comparisons we are going to start with the most important one and that is going to be right here jesse so obviously her buck is also very nice but they just made a few too many i think mistakes i think they definitely should have given her these arms right here and even if they didn't do that i think they should have given her these legs instead of those ones um it's still a bit of a wonky figure but that was something that i was able to fix thanks to joel davis's y joint make sure you go ahead and tune in i'm going to try to put that in my bio again every time i have jesse up so that you guys can go ahead and get that fixed if you guys didn't already know that there is a better y joint for it but as you can tell, 
this is how they both sized up. Um, Jesse, even with her helmet, looks a little bit shorter, but the Shadow of Asimite looks kind of tall, so I'm not sure what's going on there. But let me go ahead and show you guys something that I know you guys want to see. And so, guys, here we're going to have Trial Mob. Here we have Jesse with actual legs, the actual legs that she should have came with in package. And I have to say, this is absolutely proof positive that this is how she should have came equipped. I am still going to say that um acid rain needs to give us like a civet company booster pack that comes with extra weapons extra pieces and a set of legs these legs right here now if you guys take a look obviously while wow, this does look absolutely phenomenal and this is exactly what i picture jesse looking like because this is badass i will admit that the fact that it's all one color and it's black mm, kind of looks unfinished i think that the only things that i would want done here if they were to give us these legs again and acid rain please pay attention is that i think the feet itself should be more more of the same gray color that we get here in the helmet and the upper body and then we should get yellow on the um, shoelaces yellow on the both knee pads and then last but not least least yellow right here on the straps i think that if they were to do that and then i go ahead and add it to this right here oops excuse me we would end up with an overall much better looking figure that looked like it should have been from the factory or that looks like it should have been like this from the factory again a little unfinished here but if they could just do that for us that would be incredible Incredible. Now, for anybody that does do a little custom work, let me know because I am getting a second um, Shadow of Asimite and I might have to sacrifice those legs to be able to make the Jesse that I think I should have gotten. So somebody let me know what you can do. Now here we have her next to an AMM Prospector and this is always going to be a classic, one of the best female bodies that we've gotten so far because here they focus more on making an actual soldier than what they've been doing and more recent Acid Rain stuff and yes of course there's going to be its gives and takes, the articulation I wanted to say is going to be overall better in the Shadow of Asimite than the AMM Prospector but again these are still going to be two very nice figures overall and they're definitely starting to get it down um, the proper way to make these female bodies in its current form and then last but not least here we're gonna have valdo and just in case if you guys were wondering yes i am going to do a review on these guys but i just wanted to get the shadow of asimite out of the way since i'm sure more people bought that one since again it got sold out and valdo is still on there and um, as you can tell valdo is a little taller but again i don't know if it's just his newer female bucks but uh she's definitely not small in comparison he's a little taller but i wouldn't even say he's really bulkier so um, yeah, definitely, definitely badass looking overall buck. It's why I love Kelsey and it's also why I like this one as well. All right, Trial Mob, so the reality is this Shadow of Asimite is an absolutely dope figure. I love the fact that she's basically a, you know, Shadow Force Kelsey. Um, and it is a really dope piece overall. And again, I know that she's a little bit of the decontented queen because she does come with a lot less than a lot of the other figures. But at a $25 price point, when things right now are hitting $55, which is double this price point, it's refreshing to see that Acid Rain is trying to make some stuff. Even things like this that are exclusive, just easier to get everything considered. Or I shouldn't say easier to get, but at least more purchasable. I mean, an event exclusive that was able to sell out at $25 I mean that's an absolute steal especially considering with her toolkit since you can get a lot of the things um, or should I say a few things there that we haven't gotten before and even some of the stuff that we do have before are fan favorites like the guns from the NAUS so for me if you do see this come back in stock it's a must buy pick it up you're, you know get more than one even if they come out exactly the same you could always switch the way i might want to switch for some different weapons or add different weapons on to her they she apparently can come equipped with basically everything so that's really nice to see so for me this is definitely going to be a must buy and this definitely is going to join the pantheon of champions when it comes to our trials here at tbg and again Again, I am going to touch base on that Valdo, and please let me know what you guys think of this content. I might be a little rusty because it's been a while since I've done a review. I've been tackling the news, but if you did like this, please give me a like, a comment, a subscribe, hit the bell notification so you can see when I'm always posting stuff, and I will bring some more stuff to you guys very, very soon. All right, Trial Mob, I will see you guys on the next one.